we're building a chicken house today. Welcome to Ravelby Ravelby. What are you most excited about having chickens? Because when we get to eat the egg out, chicken make uh -huh. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And now I actually will be taking care of some chickens as well as part of my motherhood channel. Because if you watched my last video, you saw that my husband gave me about a 10 to 15 minute notice that we were going to be having four hens at our house. We had zero supplies, no coop, like no food for them, nothing. It was just kind of like, okay, here's the chickens. And this was like my unexpected Valentine's Day gift. So in today's video, we are building the chicken coop from scratch. My husband just kind of sketched out on our glass whiteboard his idea of like what he was gonna be building. And then he just went at it once we got the supplies. In the meantime, the chickens were in in my daughter's little playhouse outside just kind of enclosed so that they wouldn't be totally going wild in our backyard because we have a gate that opens up to our neighbors and they have dogs so we really didn't want them to really like escape. During this whole process of like observing my husband build this chicken coop, I, you know, was reminded that we are very different in so many ways. I am very much like a plan every detail, anticipate every problem, get everything on paper already before I even dip my toe into starting a project. And because I'm trying to avoid any mishap, I am very much a perfectionist. And I think that that really holds me back in a lot of ways because it makes me not want want to start something until I have everything figured out. My husband, on the other hand, had an idea in his head and got some random supplies and figured he'd go at it. And if he needed some more supplies, he would run to the store. If a problem came up, he would find a solution or unscrew something and then fix the problem. And his method, there's, you know, maybe some not really pretty cuts or there's little things that looking back you might tweak, but he gets the job done and we were able to or he was able to accomplish this within like two or three days. You know, it didn't all happen in one day like we were hoping. So the chickens did still have to sleep like in our house in a little tub for another night, but they are sleeping happily in this coop now. So that's really all that matters at this point. But I do have to say that, you know, ideally I think there would be a person in between my husband and I. So I'm hoping that we just kind of balance each other out. I think he needs to maybe appreciate appreciate my need for a plan and I need to appreciate the ability that he can just kind of go with the flow and fix things as we go. So anyways, maybe this is just like a good example of <laughs> one point of marriage is to grow together to become even better people. <laughs> But anyways, Juan, like I said, did a really great job building this coop. And I was really proud of myself because after watching him do like a bunch of stuff and build everything, I kind of picked up like, oh, okay, so that's what you do before you do this and whatnot. And I actually broke out some of the drills and added a few things on, which I will point out in a little bit. Aubrey has really been loving having these chickens, feeding them like different scraps. Once the chickens start laying eggs, I think it will be fun to have Aubrey kind of embrace, you know, collecting the eggs as part of her chore. I have been trying to talk to her about like where our food comes from and why we should finish our meat when we're eating a meal, especially because we need to respect that an animal died to be on our plate while we're, you know, consuming dinner or something like that. So it has opened opened up a lot of good conversations with her and I'm trying to really just teach her to appreciate the animals and you know take care of them because they will be feeding us. Thank you. 
So one funny thing is that we, you know, we put this little perch in the coop and the chickens like don't want to sleep on it. And I was a little concerned, but I do have a friend that has, I think he said 13 chickens and he said that some of them, you know, don't really sleep on the perch or anything. So I'm less stressed about that. But my main concern for that, I guess, is I'm thinking something's wrong with them because they still haven't laid eggs. And it's been about a week since having them. They've been in the coop for a few nights now. And I'm hoping that, you know, now with all of like the drills not being used anymore around them, I'm hoping that they start to feel a little bit more comfortable and less stressed and that will result in some egg laying soon. I'm not much of a pet person. I was when I was little, but now I'm not so much like of a pet person, but I want these to be purposeful pets. If they're not laying eggs, I just kind of feel like I'm taking care of like a fish. Like it's just kind of for entertainment and it's more of a chore than if there's a purpose. But anyways, I'm, I'll let you guys know when we get our first egg. I'm, I'll definitely record it. I went out the first morning that they got, they were in there and checked. I was so eager and there was nothing. And it's been a couple mornings and they still haven't produced. So, you know, like I said, I, I'm eager to show you guys the very first egg that we get from these chickens. I do have a little dream of expanding this little back area for them so that it goes like along our brick wall in our little planter area in our backyard so that they can just have a little bit longer of a chicken run. They can, you know, scratch and, and dig for worms or bugs or whatever and just hopefully be happier animals. I really don't want to have to chase them around my yard to collect them and get them back in their coop. So I'd really prefer to just have an enormous chicken run that I can just, you know, let them be free and I don't have to worry about, you know, other birds attacking them or other animals getting into our yard and hurting them. I'd rather they just be all enclosed but still feel free range if that makes any sense. In addition to this, you know, longer chicken run, I do want to add a couple things here and there, but they're not, you know, major. There's just like little ledges to help catch some of the pine chips that fall out when we open the doors. I was really proud of myself because I broke out the tools, like I said, and I added some eye hooks and just created a contraption so that we could open the back door while standing on our cement just a little bit easier and that we could leave it open. We also added like a big piece of wood for a little bit more privacy in the nesting area so that hopefully these birds will feel more comfortable and lay eggs but that hasn't really helped so far that we've noticed at least so we will definitely update you guys on that if we change the inside at all but this is our chicken coop I it's in no way a tutorial because you know we really didn't have any plans on paper and our sketches have no measurements or whatever but I hope you guys can appreciate the way that I do how my husband's mind works that he is able to envision something and just kind of make it come to life even with some flaws you know it really didn't matter we weren't looking for something perfect we were looking for something with a purpose and this definitely does the job that it needs to and I'm just so excited to bring you guys along on this new stage in my life again right now it's just kind of like the last week has been all about these chickens and making sure that they're established and so my house is a mess like everything's out of order and hopefully I'll get some good like cleaning and organizing videos in for you guys soon but right now it's just making sure that our new pets don't die. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I take care of all things mom, like I said, and I really hope that you find something that you enjoy on this channel. I'll catch you in the next one.
made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.